And it's Rizzy from TechCrucci bringing you the latest on all things iPhone. Today I'm super excited to walk you through the all new iOS 18.1 public beta 1 update. There's so much to cover from long awaited features like call recording to brand new Apple intelligence features. So if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit subscribe button now because you don't want to miss any of these cool updates. Okay, let's kick things off with one of the most requested features call recording. Yes, you heard that right. If you open your phone dialer and make a call, you'll now see the option to start recording right there. One tap and boom, your call is being recorded. But that's not all. iOS 18.1 takes it a step further with automatic note creation, storing your recordings for easy access. Imagine having both the audio and a full transcript right at your fingertips. How awesome is that? Now let's move on to the control center. If you're like me, you've been waiting for a more user-friendly layout. Well, Apple delivered, you'll now see airplane mode, Wi-Fi, cellular, and Bluetooth more organized, making it easier to toggle on and off with just a tap. It's a small change, but honestly, it makes a big difference. However, I did find a little bug if you delete any extra pages in control center, they seem to reappear after you reopen it. Anyone else notice this? Let me know in the comments below if you're facing this issue too. And for those of you who've been wanting more privacy, this update lets you lock system apps. That's right, you can now lock your messages, notes, and even your photos. Finally, you don't have to worry about anyone snooping through your stuff. iMessage got some fun new tricks too. There's this slick new animation when sending messages that wasn't available in iOS 18.0, and you can finally react to text with stickers. Just long press any message, tap the emoji button, and add any sticker you want. For those of you rocking an iPhone 15 Pro or iPad with the M chip, get ready Apple Intelligence is here. After joining a quick waiting list, you'll have access to mind-blowing AI features. My personal favorite, the new Siri animation, it's super clean and futuristic. Plus, Siri now has a feature called Ask Siri that can type your message and scour the internet for anything you need. Imagine having your own AI assistant that's always one step ahead of you. Now, here's something every iPhone user is going to love the new cleanup feature in the Photos app, ever taken a great photo, but there's something in the background ruining it with just a tap, you can remove any unwanted objects instantly. It's like magic, drag, drop, and poof, it's gone. While it's still in beta, I think it's going to be a game changer when it's fully polished. Apple Mail users, listen up, there's a feature called Summarize, no more scrolling through endless emails. This nifty tool will read the email for you and give you the quick version. If you're someone who deals with a ton of emails, you're going to love this one. Content creators, buckle up. The AI writing tools in iOS 18.1 allow you to proofread, rewrite, or even summarize any text from websites or apps. Perfect for when you're in a hurry, but need that polished professional tone. And for photos, say hello to create a memory movie. Just type a keyword like 2021 or your name, and it automatically creates a movie with all the photos from that time period. Add a song and boom, a personalized slideshow made in seconds. Now, here's one last feature exclusive to the iPhone 15 Pro, Pro Max, and iPhone 16 series AI summarize notifications. All your important messages will be automatically summarized so you don't miss a thing. Just enable summarize preview in settings and your phone will filter through all the clutter to show you only what's essential. So should you install iOS 18.1 public beta one? I say yes. Aside from a couple of minor bugs, the new features like call recording, enhanced privacy, and AI tools are totally worth it. I haven't seen any major battery issues either and the overall experience feels pretty smooth, but I want to hear from you. Have you installed the update yet? What's been your experience? Drop a comment below and let me know.